Oh my God. I haven't had a quarter pounder with cheese in so long. What is up? What is up? All right, what's up YouTube? If you don't know, my name is Aaron. Thanks for tuning in to Married to a Moon. We're doing a little something different here today. It's, uh, I'm actually gonna do a little mukbang and story time. So while I devour this two quarter pounder with cheese and a large fry, I'm gonna be telling you about why I quit my job. But before we get into the story, this is like my second meal. And I was so cranky today, hungry. I've been dieting and working out and it's pretty tough, especially when um, I like eating like this. Oh, I can't help myself, oh my God. Mmm, so good. So let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> so before YouTube, I was um, a banker. I was more in the financial compliance and risk analysis side of banking. All I did was write reports on transactions and pretty much I would catch any um, suspicious or illegal activity. That's pretty much what I did for a living. I did that for eight years, the past eight years. Oh my God. Oh my God. So nostalgic. Oh my God. Oh my God. But I'm doing that for eight years. It was fun in the beginning. You just get exposed to so many possible like money laundering activities, tax evasion uh, strategies and all these things. And you start researching and you know, you're kind of like an investigator or pretty much um, financial snitches, right? Mm. Mm. How I got into it was pretty interesting. Literally put on my Facebook, is anybody hiring? I just took a shot like that. This was where Facebook was actually helpful. And not, and not stupid. And a friend of mine, she definitely helped me a lot in my eight year career. She hooked me up with an interview. I thought I bombed the interview because I was like falling asleep in the interview. I ended up getting the job like a week later. Started doing that, worked my way up. You could have a pretty good future. Like I know people who make like $200,000 a year doing what I do. I wasn't making money like that, but I was making pretty good money up until the day I quit. I didn't really have to worry about nothing. Like everything was set. I had 401k, I had um, health insurance. My wife was covered in my health insurance. There were always room for growth and uh, promotions. Second to last company I worked for before I quit my job, I was the youngest VP um, of my department. So that's pretty cool. And I was just doing it because I was good at it. I was good at deduction. I was good at analyzing. I'm good with finances and just analyzing. So I just started, you know, taking off in that career. And I just got comfortable, you know? Over time, I was just like, this ain't what it, what it used to be. I remember waking up, starting to wake up in the morning stressed out as hell. Like, I would want to call in sick when I'm not sick. Just burnt out. I mean, it was my fault too. Like, kind of caused a lot of that stress by myself where I would try and beat the number one producer, top producer. Who's the best writer? I want to see how they write and then I'm going to, I'm going to beat their game. By doing that, I would literally be isolating myself from my department. But I took my job very seriously. Um, my job life kind of ro started rolling into the personal life where I started bringing work home. Um, that I felt like I was the only one that cared about all our projects and deadlines and all that stuff. I just started getting to my own head and the drive for the work just started simmering down. Like, I didn't really care about the work after a while. And, um, you know, 
for two years, my wife was like, my wife and a, and a handful of friends that really cared about me. Now, like, Aaron, just quit. Just quit your job. I'm like, dude, I can't quit. I'm not gonna walk away from this money. What am I gonna do to make more money? All right, but I quit in August 2019. That was my last day at corporate. And man, like, I felt so free. And I haven't felt like that in so long. Like that light at the end of the tunnel, I, I was finally there. So, before I quit, my wife, you know, she was telling me, well, Christy, y'all know Christy, my wife. She was like, yo, why don't you take some time off and figure out what makes you happy? The main concern was finding something that makes me happy. So she was like, man, work is taking a toll on your life and it's taking a toll on our life. I think you need to quit your job because it's going to mess up our marriage if you don't quit your job. All right. All right. I'll do it. So, put in my two weeks. After I quit, I was, you know, even, even till this day, I'm scared as hell. Like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? What am I doing? What am I doing for funds? But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm lucky. Like God has provided for me since I've left my job. After I quit my job, I got into background acting. One, that's one of the things I've been doing actually uh, a lot background acting pretty cool game to get into like you know you meet celebrities and all that stuff so you could get to go on your favorite shows or whatnot and, and cool but the money money sucks you know my main reasons to start background acting was so that I could hopefully get picked and chosen to represent the Asian community uh, the right way um, as a dominant, confident person, right? So that's, you know, one of the reasons why I picked it up. And also because I want to do commercials. How awesome would it be if I was on one of the Super Bowl commercials, right? Can y'all see me on a commercial? I feel like I could see myself on a commercial. I mean, I could do a McDonald's commercial, right? Well, uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, I don't know. And obviously the next big thing that we're working on is a YouTube channel. It was actually Chrissy's idea to start this YouTube channel because she thought it would help me be more comfortable in front of the camera for my background game, background acting game. And I was like, damn, that's genius. I can confidently say that that has worked. Like when I get behind the camera, at um, a gig, I'm not I'm not nervous about, oh my God, how am I gonna come out, how do I look, whatever. Cause now I'm kind of accustomed to, oh, this is how I am behind camera, this is how I look, and this is how I'm gonna portray myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, oh, another thing I've been working on, um, I've been working on e an e-commerce business I'm lucky enough to um, have found some investors that I work with. We have a really good vision. Still at its infancy stage, but it's cool, you know, like to just build something and and watch it grow. And hopefully um, all the work that we put into it uh, will pay off, you know? So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I've been working on. But, oh my God, I'm so okay. But the main reason why I quit was really wasn't happy. Waking up every day, like angry, depressed. Um, didn't look forward to a lot of stuff. Started becoming antisocial. And it just started taking its toll on the marriage, you know? Like just coming home, not wanting to do anything. I didn't want to work out. All I wanted to do was watch TV, smoke weed, go to sleep. That's really all I wanted to do. And it was just, just sucking the life out of the, our marriage. And thank God for Christy, who literally all she cares about is us being happy. I remember when I first got with her and I got this job, 
She was like, it doesn't matter if you do well at this job or if you don't. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of money or you don't. I'm just happy if it's just us two. She was telling the truth, man. Like, seriously, I'm blessed. She loved me when I had no money. She loved me when I had the most money. And she loved me right now when I'm in limbo with stuff. Like, literally, she's my she's been my number one supporter. Do this thing. All she wants me to do is stay happy, be happy, um, and find things that continue to make me happy. But now, since I quit, I mean, am I stressed and angry? Like, yeah, still. But it's not like how it was at the office. Like, I'm stressed out because... Maybe I don't have the result that I want or that I, that I have envisioned. I haven't, I haven't accomplished it, but that only means tomorrow I get, I get to wake up and do it again and do it better than I did today. So I can take care of myself and my family and Christy, of course, like that's my main thing. Like what husband doesn't want to provide uh, a life of luxury for their significant other, right? So that's, you know, that's pretty much my main goal since I quit and that's what I'm working towards. And yeah. Cheers. But yeah, I think my biggest accomplishment since I quit is keeping a successful, happy marriage. We just have each other's back and that's, that's the best. She's the only person like I want to impress all the time. And I think it's important to surround yourself with people, positive people and honest people and people that are going to keep you accountable to your goals and your vision. And I've definitely been lucky to be surrounded with um, friends and family in that uh, in that context, like just follow your dream. But the most important part is like finding what I really, truly, truly want to do as a passion. And right now it's more than background acting and more than e-commerce has been this YouTube channel. And I'm so glad that I've been able to um, have this platform. And you know, I just can't wait for the channel to grow. I tell Christy all the time, like it's such a blessing to even have like our first few videos hit over a thousand views and we're just like whoa that's crazy because that's the last thing that we expected but um we've been getting really great support from every one of you guys and like literally like that's why we do it and that's why i enjoy it that's why we want to film every week and drop videos every week and just really want to um keep you guys entertained for real so thanks for watching thanks for watching me eat and you listen to my story about where I came from and what I'm doing now. And if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed my story and my mukbang, hit that like and subscribe. Comment below what you what else you want to see me eat and what more you want me to talk about. I got stories for days. Obviously, some more fun than others. I just thought it'd be interesting story time about you know what I used to do before YouTube and all this other good stuff hit that like and subscribe button comment share my videos tune in next week all right thank you